Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video tutorial, I'm gonna set up a new sensor that is MPL 115A2. To gain more knowledge about this sensor and to know what exactly the sensor is, let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com and search this sensor. Now we got that MPL 115A2 is a digital barometer 50 to 115 kilopascal. Now these are some of its features which you can look upon it and you can purchase this sensor obviously. So I will be interfacing the sensor MPL 115A2 working on the code and a lot more using a Raspberry Pi and a Java code. So for that go to resource tab and here is the required Java code. You can download the code from this very site as zip file and you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now what we require is the hardware so that we can set up some connections and make this sensor a work. This here is our sensor MPL 115A2. It's a digital barometer sensor which we are going to be setting up for this entire video and the hardware connections part. In addition to this we need a Raspberry Pi. Now to provide a solution to how to connect a sensor, Raspberry Pi and other I2C devices and to make this connection a lot easier to see and to make we require an I2C sheet. Now this is available on our website controleverything.com. Now gently push over the I2C shield over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi. Well, to make a connection among the sensor and the I2C shield, the binding factor comes is a connecting cable. Now make the connection and while making this connection, make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and similarly to the shield, just like that. Now the connection will look like this. Now we need to power up the Pi and here comes a micro USB into the picture. Insert it up in the power jack. Now to connect the Raspberry Pi with the internet connection, we have two ways. First of all, this is an ethernet cable. Gently place over the ethernet jack. In case if you don't have this one, we have a second issue and second part is a nano USB adapter, wireless and gently push over the USB port. So you have two ways to get it done. Now we are done with the hardware connections part. Now let's have a look over the code. We will work over the explanation working so that we can have the entire video part. So as of now we have completed the part for the hardware connections. Why not we have a look over the code, the Java code so that we can interface that particular sensor uh, with the Java code. So go to github.com, log in there and here search for the repository that is control everything community. Now here this is our required sensor that is MPL 115A2 and here comes the Java code we are looking forward to check. So let's have a look over the instructions first. We have to download and install the Pi4J library we have used in the particular code and this link. I will open the link to have a better idea what exactly this is. So it's a Pi4J library and I will be installing so you have to install because we have used this particular library on the code. So this all the relevant information is being provided here all the commands so that you can directly install onto the Pi. So do it before uh, running the code and do it carefully. Now get back to the code. Uh, yes. That's correct and that's a .java extension file. First of all in the code we have imported some of the libraries which we will use later in this video uh, in the code also. Um, and we have created a public class name MPL115 and in this function uh, we have bus.cat device which will provide the address of the sensor that is 0x60 and here we are reading coefficients for the compensation and we have reading 8 bytes of data from the address 0x04 and this is a command for that as you can see uh, the reading values will give us some values data and we will convert it in converting them into the coefficients as you can see a0, b1, b2 and c12. Uh, now the rating section comes we have sent the pressure measurement command that is 0x12 and the command is 0x00. After that we have read 4 bytes of data as you can see on my screen of uh, pressure and temperature data and there might be some values generated. So I will be collecting all the values and after that the conversion of the data take place which we have just read and it's according to the data sheet of uh, MPL115A2. Now at the end we have the calculation pressure compensation and conversion of the data again and after that the value will be stored. 
uh, at the very end of our code we have the output data on the screen and I have formatted it to the best of the knowledge so that pressure can be in the units of kilopascal along with temperature which is in Celsius and Fahrenheit so it's uh, two values of floating value exactly so it's perfectly formatted so this is how a code looks like for a Java for the sensor NPL double one five A two, and it's a very simple and generalized code. So why not we have a look over its working and let's see what's gonna happen at that part. Now we need to work out this code for the working of the sensor. So for that, copy this entire Java code and go to the Raspberry Pi terminal and here create a new file MPL double one five A two dot Java extension and now here paste the entire code and save it and this is the command to compile the code as you can see on my screen and here it goes it might some take some time for the compilation uh, it's done good to see that good now this is the command to run the code and here we go and we have our pressure and temperature data now again it's there now when I apply some pressure over the sensor, let's see what changes, it changes for the pressure and temperature value, now again pressing it further changes for the pressure and temperature value. So this is how the code works on Raspberry Pi, a Java code with the sensor MPL 115A2. Now we want to see what are the features, the benefit and why do we use this sensor and a lot of applications for this sensor. So let's check it out. The MPL 115A2 employs a MEMS pressure sensor with a conditioning IC to provide accurate pressure measurements from 50 to 115 kilopascal. An integrated ADC converts pressure and temperature sensor readings to a digitized outputs via an I2C port. Factory calibration data is stored internally in an onboard room. Now these features make it very useful for applications like barometry, altimeters, weather stations, industrial equipment air control systems and health monitoring and a lot now you can purchase the sensor from the website as you can see on my screen and you can get the code from the resource tab and after that you can download it from there also you can get the code from github repository and that's control everything community well you have seen the explanation the working the hardware connections part so i would like to make it clear that in case if you have any kind of doubt regarding fully understanding of any part of this video till now you can have your queries on the control everything.com and you can contact me there also you can post your comments your issues on the community page of this website now for articles and blogs relevant to this video you can catch me up on instructables.com also for more video tutorials you can subscribe youtube channel just shown like here now I hope you enjoyed this video and have yourself a good one. Thanks for watching.